Sammy Squad. What's poppin'? I hope you guys are having a fantastic month. Um, but to get into this video, we are gonna be doing um a pride makeover. Cause tomorrow is June 5th and it is Pride Month, so June 5th is pansexual day. Which is why I have my pansexual flag. So I will be doing my makeup for Pan Pride Day and showing you how I do it. So let's get started. I don't know why I was trying to pause it, but yeah. So what I'm gonna be doing first is my foundation. So ah. So first thing I'm gonna be doing is taking this dream liquid mousse by Maybelline and it's in the classic ivory shade 20 and then this wet and wild cream foundation it does not say what shade it is but i'm going to be mixing these Okay, now I'm going to be taking my little RT Beauty Blender from Walmart and just applying it on my face. Let me get a hair tie. Okay, we're back. I got my hair pulled up. So, let's start applying. So, uh, how are you guys? Do you guys like doing videos like this with me or like the vlogs or what like do you like get readies with me vlogs my makeup routines I don't know or my challenge videos I know I haven't done one in a while I need to get my neck So what I'm going to be doing for um, my outfit is I'm going to take my black shirt that I'm wearing, my pair of black pants, and matching it with my flag. And my flag is going to be tied around my neck with a rainbow shoelace. And then I'm going to wear a pair of black heel boots. And then my eye makeup and then I'm going to try and find some glitter for my cheekbones so I could really be popping. <laughs> I think I have glitter in my room somewhere. I should. So yeah, I'll be right back when my, con my foundation is finished. Okay, before we get into concealer, I am going to do my eyebrows really fast and then I will come back to help teach you how to do my eye makeup okay I am sorry about how crappy these eyebrows look they are so dark and yeah they look bad ignore them <laughs> the next thing I am going to be doing is my eyeshadow I don't have anything on this palette, and I've had this palette forever, so I have no idea what this palette is. Um, but I have the LA Colors Glam Palette as well, so I'm going to be using these two for my eyes. So, for the inner corner, I'm going to be using uh, this blue. For the center, I'm going to be using this yellow. Then I'm going to be going in with this pink for my outer crease. Whatever you want to call it. These eyebrows are bothering me because they look like shiitake mushrooms. Okay, I attempted to fix them. It didn't work very well. 
it looks a little better, but once we go in with concealer, it'll look a little bit more better. So, let's get started with my makeup. Oh, what brush do we want to use? We're going to take this brush right here. Does not have a freaking name. And go in with that blue in the inner corner. Okay, now for the middle. I'm going to be going in with that yellow shade, cleaning off that stain brush. And just packing it on. Okay, now I'm going to go on with that red shade. And I'm sorry I don't talk very much during my makeup tutorials. That's why I don't normally do them. But if you would like to see them more, I will do so. Okay, then I'm going to go in with this kind of kabuki brush looking thing and just blend out the pink right there. And get a little bit more pink and just pack it on. I'll be right back. So I went ahead and blended the blue into the yellow and the yellow into the pink and then put more blue and yellow and blended them out. So I'm going to do the other eye and then I'll be back to do eyeliner. I think that all recorded. I'm not sure. Now I'm going to go do the other eye. I'll be back. I have finished both eyes. Now time to do eyeliner. And I do eyeliner a lot and people wonder how I get my wings so perfect. So let me show you how I do my wings. I am breaking everything right now. So I use the Wet n Wild Proline Felt Tip Eyeliner in the shade 875B Black. And I need to clean this off really quick because it has glitter all over it from the last time I used it. All right, now line your lash line and then slowly make your wing since our makeup eye makeup look is already really like vibrant we're not going to do a huge wing because we don't want to distract from the color so let me do the other eye and i'll be right back okay now that we are done with our eyeliner we can do our concealer really fast before we do our uh, mascara so i use too faced born this way concealer in the color fair so what I'm going to do is I put it under my eyes, bridge of my nose, 
my forehead, under my chin, on my acne spots, and then I take my beauty blender that I used earlier and conceal, cleaning up all of the fallout under my eyes, all the spots of acne. And just pat it in everywhere, making sure that everything looks perfect. Once I am happy with the way I concealed my face, then I am done with my concealer. And I'm moving on to concealing my eyebrows, which for that, I take a small flat tip brush that is thin. I take my concealer and I take it right off the stick and I put it under my brow and right on it. Just trying to clean up the shape of the brow a little bit more and then I blend. Ah, my nose. Ah, now to blend my eyebrows. Blending, 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 blending the brows. Blend, 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 blend. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, 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 blend. A lot of people don't like blending their brows after, like, Concealing their brows after they do eyeshadow because it gets in the eyeshadow, but I feel it's easier because then it just makes everything look just a bit more clean. <laughs> my eyebrows look a lot less dramatic after I put my eye makeup on. So now I'm going to move on to mascara. And for mascara, I use the Maybelline New York, the Colossal Vol Volume Express in the shade Glam Black. So now let's do my. Now that my mascara is done, I'm going to put on my under eye eyeliner, which. I forgot to put on earlier, and I think this is LA Colors, all of it rubbed off, I've had this for a long time, so I'm just going to apply this to my waterline, and I'll be back. Okay, now that I applied my under eye eyeliner, I am going to go in with my Tarte Pro Glow palette, and I'm going to take the shade Strobe and Stunner for highlighter and just apply it to my cheekbones. So first I go in with Stunner and I just apply it like so. And then I go over it with Strobe just to give it a bit more glow. Same with the other side, going with Stunner then take strobe and go over the top and it makes a really nice highlight and then for my nose I just put some on there really fast of both shades and then excess on the brush goes on my lip on my cupid's bow and on my chin and then if I'm wearing like a tank top like this, I will mix both the colors 
and put them on my shoulders. And it just gives my shoulders a nice glow. Sometimes I will add them to my collarbones just to make them pop just a bit like so. Next, I am going to do my lips, which I am going to take this LAC matte lipstick. And I don't believe the shade is on here. Scarlet. It's in the shade Scarlet. And I'm just going to I don't use sticks very often. I don't like using sticks because I like the cream lipstick. But I like this color. It's one of my new ones. So why not? Oh, I totally forgot my bronzer. So I'm going to go in with my Tarte Pro Glow palette again, and I'm going to take the color Sculpt in powder contour and just contour my cheekbones. I know I make a couple weird faces when I do makeup, but <laughs> yeah, everybody does. So, this is my makeup look. And then I'll be right back with my pride gear. So, here's my pride flag. I'm actually really happy about this makeup. I have not done it in a year. Because last time I did it was for Pride Day last year. So yeah, thank you all for watching and tuning in. This is my look for Pride Day tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, If you have not done so yet, make sure to hit that like button if you would like to see more of my videos. And hit subscribe down below to become part of the Santa Squad and hit the little bell icon if you would like to become part of my notification squad and get notified every time I post a new video. Um, what was your high and low of the day? My high of the day was I got to stay home from school and film this video for you guys. My low was, I don't know, I don't have a low yet. Um, but yeah, I love you all so much Santa Squad. Oh, by the way, question of the day. If you, um, if you are... Say, I'm really playing a game. <laughs> um, comment down below if you are a part of LGBT, and if you are, what are you a part of? Like, what are you? And I am the plus, I am the P in pansexual. Okay, I love you so much, Sammy Squad. Bye.